Uh, I'm Andrew Golden. Um, in the 1960s, I was fortunate, as were they, the Rolling Stones, to have me as their uncoverer, as opposed to discoverer, manager and producer. I'm, in a way, I'm one of the fortunate ones, because I'm as excessive about my wellness as I was about my unwellness, and as I have hepatitis C. If, if, if somebody got hepatitis C as a kind of rock and roll metal, say, as opposed to um, blood transfusions, all the other various ways, you know, I can stay off the track. But I mean, there are, it, it's very difficult to have to dive back and deal in that world. If you are an addict or an alcoholic, uh, which I am both, it comes up. Uh, I mean, it's just something, obviously, that I have to monitor. Uh, information is king and key to people's lives. Um, in managing it, trying to beat it, just to constantly be um, clearing the body of rubbish that will make you sluggish and, 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 and make the main, the main filter of the liver get tired and therefore subject to um, getting older you, or getting to uh, you know, any medical stage where you have to entertain the idea of um, interfering. You know, it's, it's so comforting to me. May, and a straw that Tiffany made. Dirty fucking silver straw. That they sold for $175 at Tiffany's. Um, which just was clogged silly. I mean, the dirt, the shared dirt, the shared coat, the shared nostrils or whatever, you know. Um, and I'm sure that I've had um, uh, uh, blood in a straw, you know. It goes as part of the course, isn't it? Mm -hmm. but, I mean, from my needle use, I, I, you know, I would have to look at it as probably, a, you know, that. That particular event was like 86, 85, 86. Did you share needles? Yeah. 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 Okay. I mean, there really ought to be, you know, um, you know uh, an Hep C poster chart mm -hmm. you know, so that we were, were all aware of um, who had it and therefore where people can come for information. Because, I mean, what, in the percentage of what you deal with, how many, uh, what of your quote audience? don't know they've got it. I mean, it's, it's, it's the quiet one, isn't it, still? You know, it's the, it's the quiet one. I mean, we know, we have a, a, a mutual acquaintance who came up to me and said he was a friend of him, but it's not generally advertised as is, you know, if you're misinformed and you think it might stop again later, home or away, um, I'm sure that must be one of them. Uh, I yeah. think so, wouldn't you? I mean, isn't that a lot of the, you know, I don't know. It's not sexually transmitted, though. This is a, but how, how uh, many people know that? Yeah, it's a common misconception. Yeah. Well, I mean, in the same way that when I arrive at a, at a lunch table or a dinner table at the moment, you know, I, I let everyone know I'm traveling the tents. You know, I mean, just to be quite vocal about it. And as I look, depending on your point of view, reasonably to terrifically healthy for what I've been through. And to try and point out all the other ways that you can handle it, to be available, uh, to assist in any way um, in terms of bringing, uh, using musical links to bring awareness to what the Hep C Trust is about, to make sure that people, uh, wherever possible, are aware of the um, choices, uh, and to remove the, the stigma or the, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm I'm a master of convenience, and I'm deeply superficial, so, I mean, I've decided to be quite proud of mine. <laughs> you know, I mean, what are you going to do about it? Like, hide it in the corner? No. 